Hello world. I just wanted to talk about the concept of balance today and how it affects not only ourselves but each other in regards to if we are or if we are not. Particularly I want to talk about yoga and its capacity to help the body and mind reach a state of cohesive balance and subsequently it creates an emotional effect of stability and longevity that can produce a, a, a feeling inside of serenity that not only is within yourself but then you can then transcend onto others. When you are unbalanced within yourself you don't have the capacity to help other people and that's what we're here to do. So I think we need to engage in whatever we can that will help us manifest that balancing act that will give us the inertia and the comprehensive well-being that we can then institute in others through our groundedness. Uh, the way this works essentially is physiology is all interconnected. Neurobiology, synaptic firing is completely correlative to what the physical body is doing. Uh, so if the physical body is not being engaged in a cohesive, coherent, balanced manner in an, ath in an athletic way, it can't then be transcended to the mind. Um, basically, if you don't have adequate balance between the left hemisphere and the right hemisphere of the brain, you get a lot of distortions in terms of your perception of reality and subsequently you act in a way that is not coherent with the natural laws of the universe or sociology, etc, etc. So I would really recommend yoga even if you think that you can't because you're a man or you can't because you're overweight or whatever excuses you have, I just suggest you try it. It's, it's something that's not competitively oriented. You can work into it slowly. I highly recommend hot yoga just for the detoxification aspect of it, you know, through epidermis, you know, perspiration essentially. And I hope that you'll try yoga and I hope that it will benefit you. I know it'll benefit you if you put the time into it and the effort. And uh, have a beautiful day.